This makes me look like I'm doing something. Yeah. Now you're just blocking the view of me. No, in. so right now, she's malleting the Oh, wait, concrete. I thought you were doing a time lapse. No. I had no idea, honey. Sorry. I thought you said you were setting up a time lapse. Sometimes this works so much smoother before she came out. No, honey, you're, you're not using this. I will I, use it. No, honey, come I'm on. I'm, I'm, this isn't like a funny thing we're doing right now. This isn't a bit. This is me telling you you're not using this. This is a. This is going on the YouTube channel. We don't have a YouTube channel. Oh, we do. Oh, we don't. No, what, what would you call it? Bickering while doing projects? Hey, everybody, tune in to watch this. Married couple bicker the- So we reinforced this driveway here, put a new layer of asphalt on it, and the problem that it caused was a little bit of a stability issue here on the right side as you're pulling in to park a car here. Uh, I'm worried over the next couple months with rain and snow and then the spring rains coming. I'm worried that a lot of this rock is gonna wash out and asphalt's gonna collapse underneath one of our cars. So my goal today, hopefully is an inexpensive little trick that pays off big. I got about 70 bags of concrete coming and I'm gonna do a concrete bag retaining wall. Hopefully reinforce it here with some rebar and make it look nice and schnazzy. I'm only working with about two feet here from the ground, so it's not going to, to be a retaining wall that's supporting a whole lot of weight. Anything much higher than this, I would, I would dig down, do a couple different layers of sand and rock and, you know, do some weed barrier with a drainage tube. But for the most part, this is just to keep the rock from washing out and I think as long as this rock stays in here, we should be fine for, you know, 10, 15 years before it needs any TLC. So hopefully this hack gives some people some ideas and some creativity to spruce up their driveway or flower beds. I would think this is a ideal scenario for somebody that wants a cheap raised flower bed because it really is inexpensive compared to going to the store and buying a bunch of brick pavers or hiring a landscaper to come out and do a thousand dollar job on this probably more so i have it marked up roughly where i want the wall to to go it's pretty level up on the top section looks like i'll probably have four to five bags high up until this corner right here where that mallet is and then from that corner to the little dog leg in the driveway. Probably gonna do a two step down with the bags. Maybe one, I don't know. Backing out of this parking spot right here might be tricky if you're backing out and have to make this turn right here. So I'd rather nudge the concrete than have the back tire slip off this asphalt and into the, the rock and start breaking it away over time. It's easier to replace a bag of concrete than a whole corner of asphalt. Spacing this out, I have exactly 20 spaces from that corner to this corner. So a little quick elementary math tells me this is gonna be about 100 bags, which is about 30 bags short of what I originally told the boss. That will be some fun news to break to her. I'm not gonna bring it up now. Might be for interesting dinner conversation tonight. Yo, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Mike, Michael. Michael. Do the fork, Lee. Michael. See what I did? I Michael. threw the fork. Tiff, tiff, Please. tiff. No, 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 you're no, no, scared no, no. the normals. I forgot to preface this by saying I have never done a retaining wall before. Feels like the prep is the majority of the work here. Um, just to make sure everything's set up the way it's supposed to, and then when the grunt work comes, it should go pretty quick. I'll do a time lapse on that because the last thing you want to do is listen to me grunt my way through 70 bags of concrete and rebar. The main reason why this has to be done, a retaining wall is a must here because as I'm chipping away at this, 
you can see some of these cracks forming. This gravel is not supposed to hold up this driveway for a long period of time. This is basically to support the underneath. This wall is gonna be supporting that gravel from coming out. And uh, yeah, so the more I dig away at this, you can see, you can see how brittle it is. I, it's not taking me much energy to break this away. And you can see even with my finger right here, I can put my finger in there. It's just, it's just chopping, chopping away. It's mostly, I don't know if there's sand in there, but a lot of fine gravel. So I'm hoping this is not my delivery. I was hoping it was coming on a flatbed and they can forklift it up here with a skid steer or something. But if I have to wheel every bag of concrete up this 80 foot driveway, yeah, I'm gonna be in for a long day. And they better have wrapped it. Okay, I think it's my wife getting carpets or something. I don't know. She's gonna be happy. And it's uh, better than what I thought. All right, since my uh, original calculations were off a of hair, hey Goober, yeah. I need your help. Yeah. You're in elementary school, right? Yeah. All right, uh, I have 20 spaces, five bags tall. Can you do the math? How many bags am I going to need? Like a hundred? Twenty. I should have had her help me from the beginning here. My delivery just got here and I'm glad that there is a forklift on the back so that we can get this pallet delivered right about there. Save me years on my life or my back life. I have a feeling that the ground might be a little too soft. We might be shuffling some bags around a little bit but it's better than bringing it up from the road. Concrete, some rebar. There should be a blade in there for my saw too, so I can cut through this rebar. I got 10 foot pieces of rebar because they were much cheaper. They're only like five something, um, as opposed to $3 for a two foot section. So. I'm gonna break out the angle grinder. I'm gonna cut them into probably three foot sections. So if I can get two three foot sections and a four foot section out of a 10 foot piece of rebar, it's gonna be saving me, you know, about six, six seven bucks um, per, per chunk. So this is gonna help solidify the concrete once it's in, um, cause it's gonna harden up, but they're not gonna adhere to each other like a solid sheet of uh, a solid form of concrete. And it's also not gonna create that mortar effect like you would if you were using blocks. So the con the rebar is gonna do a lot of the, the work for holding these together. So I got a couple four foot pieces of rebar here and a couple three foot pieces. The idea would be to get first, second layer in there, throw a couple three footers in, and then once I get it all set up, the very end I should have roughly 20 four footers that I can get in there staggered um, so hopefully this does a pretty good trick we got half inch rebar um, just for the sturdiness of it all we don't live in a uh, million dollar house that's gonna require an HOA to come in here and make sure this is all level and looks nice the concrete bags are gonna create a bolder look so something natural you won't see a perfectly straight level line in nature most of the time the boulders would stack and create a wall uh, where they lie so this is going to be it's going to be close but it's not going to be perfect this is the first retaining wall i've ever done so i'm not a professional at this i don't know if this is a mistake but we'll see in a couple years how it holds up and um you know but in the meantime something is better than nothing and i couldn't just let this go this makes me look like i'm doing something yeah Blocking the view of me no, so right now she's malleting the. Oh, wait, concrete. I thought you were doing a time lapse. No, I had no idea, honey. Sorry, I thought you said you were setting up a time lapse. Sorry, I was going to, but there's only three bags here right now, so okay. Um, you don't need to explain it in, in every part of the video. Sometimes this works so much smoother before she came out. 
That's rude. Now I am recording and I have that documented. So right now she is malleting the concrete, trying to get the powder into the corners of those bags. Otherwise you'll have brittle corners. Nobody likes a brittle corner. Level. You can't talk over me. I am I'm narrating this. I'm saying you forgot to mention, I'm not just pushing the corners, I'm trying to make the bags level. So that's nice and to the point of this board being across here. Why else would you put the board here if you didn't want this level? Excellent commentary. Thank you. I do have a level right there too. Well, you put the board here. I'm just using your tools because this is your project. Why well, don't want you malleting the level? So mallet the board. No, no. This is Thor. I'm going to leave this here for you. No, no. I'm already tired. <laughs> okay, here we go. to a little bit of a snag here because I did everything 50-50 split when I got to the corner here it was either round the corner and go out there into the yard further which is just gonna make me have to order more bags and then a dumpster or a truckload of dirt which I don't want to do so I decided to make it a 90 degree corner here but this bag right here is gonna get in my way from staggering them consistently like I've been doing with the 50-50 split. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to cut this bag and then tape it to keep that same edge. Good thing I'm a great Christmas present wrapper. If you've gotten to this point in my video and you said to yourself, I definitely don't want to do this project, I don't blame you. So I'm getting to that point in myself. Yes, Finley, you have your hand up. Do you have a question? 
Uh, yeah. Go ahead, because uh, if you have a question, maybe the people watching this video will have the same question. Okay. Go ahead. Well, you put all of that stuff down there. Yes, that stuff. Is, was that your hole? That stuff, that concrete. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. Well, well when the, it says, it said just add water, which means it will turn to concrete right away. As soon as it rains, yes. So that will turn to con concrete. So do you want all of that stuff to turn to concrete? So I think, what you're asking is, is this going to be a problem if that hardens up right there? Yeah, basically. This is a really good question, by the way. What it's going to do is it's going to harden up in this corner and give me more stability right here. What is going on? What? What is going on? <laughs> I was playing with the worm. Are you supposed to be helping me? Yeah. Well, you're not doing anything. My job is malleting. Where's the worm? Would you like to share with the class? Why? Captain Distraction over here. There. All right, we're back. It's about three months later, almost to the day. We started this project. <laughs> we started this, things are flying out of nowhere. Here we started this project in December, uh, December 30th actually, and today it is March 28th. The weather's starting to clear up a little bit. Um, we're not dealing with super cold weathers here in the Northeast like we were uh, in January and February, so I didn't get a chance to continue with this project until now. I'm hopefully gonna be able to finish this today. The skies are looking a little dark. I'm not uh, anticipating rain, but uh, those those clouds don't look promising. So, so the rain's not holding off here. I'm getting a couple sprinkles, and there's some really dark clouds coming from the west. So I got a tarp. I'm gonna tarp this up. You can't let this stuff get wet because it'll start setting on you. So the last thing you want is to start laying already hard bags because you won't be able to get your rebar through them without cracking the whole the whole block. So I'm gonna tarp this up, get rebar in the stuff I already have. I'm gonna go in and get lunch and hopefully it clears up by the afternoon. So. All right, weather's being really weird right now. It is 50 degrees and it's snowing. So, thank you, I guess. It's better than rain. I think I'd rather have the snow than rain right now. The rain's gonna set these bags up, snow. It'll take a little while. you guys to see real quick here's the old part of the wall right here 
that we started a couple months ago. If you look here, over the past couple months, this paper just started shredding away. And what we got left under here is a nice solid chunk of concrete. So I'm just gonna leave that there. The just add water part is gonna come from the rain. So the idea is the water is gonna come off the driveway, go through these rocks, soak into the concrete bags from that side, rain coming from above, moisture coming from below, more rain coming from the side, should get these bags completely saturated. Every square inch of these bags is going to get wet and solidify like boulders and hold up this driveway for years to come. That's the plan anyway. All right, if you are gonna try this, it is hard work. So that's the first warning. It is very satisfying though. As you can see, I'm doing a 50-50 split on these. Basically, I'm staggering out the first row, the second row, third row, kind of like tiling a backsplash or doing tile where your second row is falling in the middle of your first row. One of the tips that I want to give you guys, if you look at this bag right here, it's all lumpy on top. The corners are lumpy. They're soft. You don't want it to harden up like that. So what I've been doing, as you can see, I'm taking a mallet and I'm just filling out, I'm hitting the top and filling out those corners. Every once in a while, coming to the front, I'll hit that. I'll hit the sides a little bit. You can see, you see how flimsy that is in there. You don't, you want to, you want to get that into the corners as much as possible. Because if you don't, these corners, when they harden up, they're gonna be loose. So when these wrappers come off here, you're gonna have chunky corners. It's not gonna be nice and rounded. It's not gonna be smooth. The front edge is not gonna be smooth. It's gonna be chipping already. And you don't want that. All these I've already pounded in here. If you look, I'll pull one open from my last batch here from three months ago. So you can see right there, nice smooth corners. Not too worried about this right here because there's going to be another row on top. So little tip do yourself a favor now it'll look better later you have a little helper somebody who doesn't mind hitting things with a mallet there's really no science behind it just have them come out here and tap away make sure they get that concrete in the corners I'm doing the final row here and I want it to be as nice as possible because this row you're gonna see from the top of the driveway so anyway walking around the driveway looking at the nice flowers that i'm going to plant here he's going to see this top row so it's important that i flatten these out as best as possible so what i'm doing here is i just taking a board and i'm smacking this evenly all the way around so that i don't get any waves or bumps on that top edge <laughs> there you go there you go you want to cut some metal uh, you want to cut a piece of rebar for me I Here. Don't you don't think so I'm just gonna drop this right on top of that piece of rebar it will allow you to wiggle it around once it's on there remember the powder and the bag all has a lot of give to it. I wanted to make sure that I put that rebar down and drop the bag on top of it for the final row. 
because I don't want a giant hole. If I put the rebar down last, there's going to be a giant hole there. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but if it works, this is a good tip. Up here, I'm still debating whether or not I want to finish this off right here or just get a, a truckload of dirt and dump it right there and regrade it. Down here, I'm going to plant a tree at this corner right about here so that when my daughter backs up, she can see the tree and then she knows when to turn her car. It's definitely rewarding, it's kind of cool. I can't wait to grab a blowtorch or a flamethrower and burn off all this paper one night. That'll be fun. And then once I get everything finished, I'll do a finale video for you guys.